Hey, travelers! Another week, and we're gathered in here like sardines. And Andy decided to grace us with his presence. No, Andy from, is here, yeah. all the way from Madison. Almost. Yes, Dave and Dave even see my beginning. I'm like an old cow going into the same stanchion every just, time. You just yeah. show up. Don't don't care what's around you. A lot of times you just yeah. put a box over me. I just stay here. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. why I always look surprised whenever you start the show. <laughs> just, <laughs> oh, yeah, we're doing things. <laughs> That's his boot cycle. Yeah. <laughs> So anyway, those of you that uh, watch from outside of Wisconsin, you'll get to learn a little more about Wisconsin beer, particularly Madison, Wisconsin today, yep. the capital of this wonderful Named state. after James Madison. Fun fact. Thank Founding you so, father. Thank you so much, Troy. And fourth president of the United States. Oh. So. Wow. Did you read his biography yet, yesterday as well? No. What a, go. Oh, what a okay. story, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I currently reside... Uh, in a Madison suburb, so I figured visiting for the weekend, might as well bring up some beers from my new local area. Yes. Yeah, so that's uh, for you folks who are not familiar, Eau Claire is about three hours north, even from Madison, so we're yep. we're a ways away. It's not like convenient to have Andy just drop in, so it's a real treat to have him here today. Ah, thanks, Troy. Yeah, see, compliments. <laughs> something, <laughs> something new from you. <laughs> what, are you. What are you, trying to gain points with Andy or something? <laughs> uh, I like to bring people up so I can slap them down later. Ah, uh, yes, yes. It's I'll funner to watch them crumble that that's way. what it's I all about. I'll be looking forward to that. <laughs> so this first beer is from Giant Jones, and I, I don't know anything about Giant Jones, no. so you're going to have to tell us all about Giant Jones. Yeah, uh, so Jessica and Erica are the two owners of Giant Jones, and um, they've been open for almost two years now, I believe. Uh, most of their beers are, are a little bit higher things? in alcohol, but you will notice that you don't get an overly boozy flavor on any of them. It doesn't ah. doesn't come off like it's an 8.6%, I believe is what this one is. This is the Dark Weizenbach. It's, it's organic. Yes. It's label. organic, guys. Yep. I feel, you got the label and everything, so I you know feel, it's organic. I feel better about every sip of this beer now. Government <laughs> certified organic. Yes. USDA mother truckers. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yay. So this is probably one of my favorite beers I've had there so far, but they also have a Burton Ale on tap right now. Troy, maybe you know a little bit about a Burton Ale? No. No? Ah. <laughs> something something beer that you don't know that I do. Is, is it, it a Burton Ale? <laughs> no. It's, does it have colored socks? It is an old English style. Oh. Um, basically, it predates hops. So. Oh, it's like a brute. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, a Groot. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, same probably era medieval ale. Just a slightly different name. Mm -hmm. It's more of a brown ale. Well, that being said, Weizenbachs are a German style. They use the Hefeweizen yeast strain, so you usually get a banana clovey flavor from that. Mm -hmm. But then you usually use a chocolate malt to kind of give you that darker, uh, you know, it is a Weizenbach, right? Yeah. So the Bach usually has some kind of chocolatey malt in it. So I always like to go to these beers expecting and hoping for chocolate-covered banana flavors. We'll see. <laughs> I hate bananas, and I particularly hate chocolate-covered bananas, but I am not opposed to uh, Weizen box or Weizen yeah. anything for that matter, yeah. really. The the clovey, banana-y flavors that you get out of yeast, I'm okay with. It's amazing how your palate can change when it comes to drinking something. Be like, hey, Troy, would you like to eat a grapefruit? No, thank you. Yeah. Would you like to drink a beer with grapefruit in it? Yes, please. Sounds great. Yeah, <laughs> wind me up. Uh -huh. Do you want banana beer? Does it actually have bananas in it? No. No. Okay, great. Yeah, <laughs> nailed it. Did you put bananas in it? Yes. Get that out of here. You should not do that. Mm -hmm. You know, like true German beers, there are, uh, you know, Weizenbachs, though, are darker and oftentimes a little heavier in the alcohol. They're not necessarily a heavy body beer. So this one definitely delivers on a, on a kind of a nice body, but not like a stout or porter heavy. For for as high in alcohol content as it is, it's it's got a lighter body and it's, it's very, very drinkable mm -hmm. and you could have two of these. The problem is the second one you wouldn't be able to get out of your seat, yeah, gracefully anymore. <laughs> yeah, this is it's a little warm, so you can definitely. If it was colder, it'd be hard to taste, but you can get a, just a smidgen of booze on the finish. I'm not getting a ton of the banana. A lot of I'd say the the chocolate flavor is kind of for me at least. I'm get a little more of the clovey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the banana is kind of hiding in there a yeah, little bit, which is okay. <laughs> which is like the perfect rising for uh, yeah. for landing here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one's one of my favorites I've had from them so far. It's a well-done beer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah, um, and like I said, Jessica and Erica are both very welcoming. You go in there. Uh, usually they're behind the bars because they're the 
sole owners and owners slash employees. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. So it's still very much a, a small operation, but they are growing. I believe they just hired their first employee uh, a couple weeks ago. So. Oh, wow. Yep. Yeah. Overall, I'd say this is a pretty good take on a Weizenbach. I would give this four out of five travelers. <laughs> Especially for somebody that's relatively new, mm-hmm. this is is pretty well done. You know, it's also a beer style that's kind of becoming harder and harder to find. Just in the uh, you know, the IPAs just sell so well. So breweries just sometimes make IPAs just so they can sell or big barrel stouts or something. So it's always fun when a, a brewery does like a, a Weizenbach or something like this. A little different, you know, just changes it up because beer is more than like five styles, yeah. right? You know, we we talk about that a lot that a lot on the show here. I also really enjoy all the label art that they have. It's all kind of this uh, pop, like sci-fi esque, yeah. medieval esque, yeah. like pulp fiction type uh, style. So, their yeah. graphic designer does a great job. That's part of the fun of beer. Mm-hmm. Giant Jones. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. We said that at the top, Troy. Just, just pay attention. He's just <laughs> saying it out loud again, yeah. just to make sure that he got it right. Well, that right. and in case our folks at home <clears throat> listening didn't catch it right at the beginning. Sometimes I forget things. I've been known to. Sure. Well, I, you know, today oh. we're it's all very boozy beers anyway. So regardless of where we started, it was going to end boozy. Mm-hmm. The middle was going to be boozy. Mm-hmm. Which we haven't, we haven't done one of those episodes in a while. Usually yeah. we, we include at least one boozy one, but today is all booze. Mm-hmm. So this next one is from uh, Vintage Brewing, which just took home a couple medals from Great American Beer Fest. What? They, what? they won uh, Best Brew Pub, and then their Abbey Ale won a uh, gold medal in that category as well. Couldn't find the Abbey Ale. So this is the Pumpkin Ale, which is an Abbey Ale with autumn spices. So Aut- Autumn spices. Yeah. Yes. That's yes. what the label says anyway. <laughs> so the, it's the, pumpkin spices. Go, tra- to local, <laughs> go to your local grocery store and grab that jar of autumn spices. Yes, oh. yes, yes. <laughs> autumn. Autumn sounds like a snooty girl from your high school, you know? Yeah. Ugh, autumn's here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Did you know one of those? Uh, and and in maybe. you know in recent episodes we've had a lot of pumpkin beers. So <laughs> the trend those continues. of you those of you that hate the pumpkin beers, which I'm guessing those might be the people that keep unsubscribing. <laughs> You're really <laughs> bent out of shape about that. Lane. Yes, I am. Been talking about that mm. nonstop over the last day and a half. Does it bother you? I'm just pointing. Good out Good thing a fact. you're going home today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just pointing. Yeah. Yeah. I'll unsubscribe you soon, Andy. Mm-hmm. Thanks for letting me crash on your couch. You're welcome. Uh, I like Abbey Ales and I like pumpkin, so I'm excited about this beer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is this is a Troy beer if I've ever heard of one. Mm-hmm. It's got mm-hmm. a real light, light pumpkiny flavor. Yeah, it doesn't smash you over the head with a pumpkin. Yeah, uh, say not a whole lot of head re- uh, retention, but I'm assuming that kind of comes from the spices. A lot of times that messes up the that kind of chemistry Those there. Dang autumn spices. Mm-hmm. Autumn spices aren't good for head retention. Man. No, head retention, real bad in autumn. I didn't keep these beers in the refrigerator, either, so they're a little bit more cellar temperature. So <laughs> That's that, fine with me. Yeah, that wanted to really get some of the flavors out. Definitely get an Abbey. You know, Abbey Ales, like we've talked before, they, had the, they have the Belgian sugar candy in them. They have uh, Belgian yeast, so it's usually a Belgian darker beer, a lot of times called a Double as mm-hmm. well. A Double. Yes. You know, so they, they're they usually a sweet beer, but kind of a uniquely sweet beer with a little bit of acid in there. Uh, so the, the, the spice is kind of balancing out nicely, I think. Mm-hmm. Very drinkable for a 7.4%. Jesus. Percent. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> no, he's not in the can. No, oh, no. Yeah, but just a yeah. lot of alcohol. He scared me because yeah. he put a lot of alcohol in this beer. <laughs> I don't think we mentioned at the Thank top, you, but Alex. the name of the, this beer is uh, Pumpkin Disorderly. Ah, uh, that's funny. Yeah. yeah. Punny, you might say. Yeah. Yeah. I'm laughing. Uh huh. On the I inside. Can see that. Yeah. <laughs> He's screaming on the inside. <laughs> I'm actually just thinking about more beer in the inside. Fair enough. Oh, it's well, we, can, again. we can have more beer. This one I actually bought. We were we were down in I was down in Madison with Andy. Oh yeah. Uh, last weekend, mm-hmm. and we met up with some of the people that we met. At uh, a beer convention that we went to, we we talked about it on the vlog before yep. um, in Montana. So some of the people lived down in that way, and then we had some people come in, coming in from, from all town. over the place. Yeah, oh, wow. <clears throat> Chicago, Twin Canada. Cities, Canada. <laughs> yep, I think it's pronounced Canadia. <laughs> sure. Oh, sorry. Yep. 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 Sorry, guys. Yeah, that was a fun time. Uh, shout out to everybody who was there with us. It was awesome. Yeah, and thanks, thanks, Greg, for organizing. Right. It. Yeah. Shout out to Greg again. 
Greg, who gets woken up by our posts every Thursday morning at 5 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, he, the Taproom Traveler vlog is his alarm clock mm-hmm. on Thursday mornings. Well, that's a that's a good feeling. I like to be to know that uh, somebody wakes up to us in the morning. Yeah, that's like drinking. I mean, even if they're angry. <laughs> yeah, that's like drinking we, cold coffee. You know, it's just <laughs> cold coffee being splashed in your face. Yeah, yeah. just <laughs> why is this monotone guy in this Western feller yelling at me about yeah, beer? Exactly, feller. Yep. No, that's correct. This I'm guy a feller. Open. When you're from South Dakota, you're a feller, oh, and that's okay. Enough. It's a term of endearment. So yeah, uh, Ale Asylum. I'd I'd never been to Ale Asylum before. Oh, no, oh. um, I'd had a plenty of their beer, obviously, but uh, big facility, mm-hmm. a very nice facility. Um, One of the older <clears throat> Madison breweries, I believe. Although Vintage has been around for a while too. They have like three or four locations around the city. I was pretty impressed by how many bombers they had. And and this is, you know, this is one of them. This is called Pantheon, the Imperial Brown Ale, aged in rum barrels. Yep. Oh, they, wow. had, they had another one aged in whiskey barrels, too, I think. <laughs> yes, they did. But I'm being completely honest. I've gotten in, drunk at Ale Asylum once or twice. Sure. Yeah. The, the, only, the only downside is the, the service wasn't that great. Yeah. You'll get that every now and then, unfortunately. Yeah. But, I but you'll have that. Yeah. I would say Ale Asylum was a pretty good Wisconsin brewery. You know, was, they've been around for a while. They were a pretty good sized brewery. They got some fun names, fun beers. You know, mm-hmm. as far as if you're taking beer from the state somewhere else, Ale Asylum's not a bad one to throw in the car. Yeah. Madtown Brown is a great beer. I was just about it's to a say that's solid yeah. one. Yep, yeah, that's one of my staples from them. Yeah, I don't Amber remember the, as well. the name of the oh, Scotch yeah. Ale. Mm-hmm. The Scotch Ale that they had on was Sticky McDougal. Good. Yeah, Sticky McDougal. <laughs> I ordered it more just for the name. Yep. But uh, pretty solid beer. I mean, like mm-hmm. a sticky Scotch ale, though. That's a that's yeah. a that's kind of a treat, you know. And everyone goes for the sticky. Yeah. yeah, came in stemware too, so it was an interesting glass choice for that. But well, you know me, always getting beers with a fancy glass. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if I can put my finger up, I get at least ten percent happier. Right? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> well, put your finger up on this one. So this is an imperial brown beer aged in rum, just kind of refreshing everyone's minds yeah. here. Which is always a unique stay, uh, move when you because it's it's such an easy thing to do is just throw a stout in a barrel, you know, because stouts carry. Uh, I mean, we've talked about it on the show before. Stouts carry those booze flavors so well, but they can also be very dominating. So it's always fun when somebody throws a different style of beer into a barrel just to see what happens. Mm-hmm. So a little less body. Definitely get rum on the nose, right? Well, it's more rummy on the nose than it is on the taste, which I feel is a thing with most rum beers. Every yeah. rum beer I've always had, it, you smell it, you're like, oh, I'm getting drunk, and then you try it, you're like, yeah, that's oh, not yeah, bad. That's Actually, I would say this is a very drinkable. Uh, you can almost throw a beer like this in a six pack bottle. Yeah, and mm-hmm. you, you would grab it and just crush a couple because it's by, you know, for for having a lot of big beers here today, we've had a lot of drinkable beers. So that's a eight point two or only a mere nine point two. Oh, is that an eight or a nine? <laughs> eight. Okay. Yeah. It's a very very uh, un- a very, unreadable font. It's a very smooth, uh, smooth eight percent beer. Yep. I mean, I think we could say that about all three of these. <laughs> yeah. Even though the pumpkin disorderly was seven something. But I think the rum adds a nice sweetness to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Brown yeah. ales. Brown ales can be sweet on their own, but it's like we're doubling down on sweet in like a good way here. Well, a little that, extra. A little bit of booze in there that, that, you know, kicks it up a notch. Gives it another dimension of flavor. And right. For sure. Oh, yeah, you can purse it apart. Added complexity. Well, you know, and you, you know how you were talking about the rum beer is always come off a little heavier on the nose than they do on the taste yeah i find the opposite for scotch barrel aged beers yeah (laughs) Yeah. they come off very boozy on the nose also very boozy on the taste yep (laughs) yeah you don't get a ton of you know whiskey barrels are are oftentimes the go-to for aging so it's also fun when somebody does rum or tequila scotch and been seeing a lot more tequilas lately and having yeah. said that, the, the, the tequila ones don't really, you don't get a lot of flavor. Mm-mm. No, I also think the tequilas go Just, better with sour beers and like blondes, right. you know, because it is a more delicate flavor. More bitey. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, I think there's been a few tequila IPAs out there even, which I thought were all pretty good. You know, it's better than a whiskey IPA. But you're not really sure. tasting the tequila all that much. Yeah. I don't know if anyone truly wants to taste that. that much tequila. Is there anyone out there just Jones in for a tequila beer? My fiance. <laughs> I would say comment below if you're just jonesing for tequila. Yep. Or above, wherever Troy was pointing while I wasn't looking. <laughs> I like to write everything on the side. 
Do you, do you accomplish a lot there? Nope. <laughs> but I do what I want. Just keeps toggling the <laughs> autoplay button. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Marilla. so that's I'm and I, uh, we know that there's a lot more Madison breweries. Obviously, yeah, uh, Wisconsin as a whole is opening up a ton of breweries. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually just trying to think about all the breweries in Madison. I got a little bit, uh, a little bit exhausted. But Madison's kind of an odd town because it is such a, you know, for the state of Wisconsin, it's probably one of the more like progressive towns. You would think they would have had more breweries early on that are bigger, but really that didn't happen. They were late. They were late bloomers. Yeah, they're yeah. kind of late bloomers. They had a few big ones right again, like your Capitals, and a couple right off the bat. And Wisconsin. Then, yeah, well, that's Monroe. Does that count as Madison area? Wisconsin mm-hmm. brewery. Yeah, Monroe counts as Madison. It's pretty close. Oh, okay, yeah. I don't know. I mean, you could throw New Glarus in there. Too, I'm a northerner. I don't know yeah. these things. New Glarus is only like 18 miles away. It's, so. That's a New Glarus, though. Completely different city. I know. I'm just saying it's it's close <laughs> enough to be considered Madison area. Gotcha. I would yeah. consider it Madison area anyway. Fair enough. Fair enough. You know, so it's uh, it's kind of an interesting town in that sense because there's a lot of like upstarts coming out right now, though. You know. Mm-hmm. Well, and then you have like Octopi. Right. Which is doing, you know, the untitled art. And I, I'm sure a lot of you have seen untitled art, wondering what the heck untitled art is. And it's coming out of Octopi in Madison, Wisconsin. So, Wanaki, but <clears throat> yeah, whatever. So, yeah. <laughs> Wanaki. You Such would never, Wisconsin name. You right? would never know if you left Wanaki and you were in Madison. I've never heard Except of Wanaki. Except for all the corn right I lived in this state my entire life. It's on the north shore of the, yeah. the Lake Mendota. Yeah. Madison's an isthmus. Now you know so very much more about Madison than you ever thought that you <laughs> would. Happy to educate. Yes. Thank you so much, Andy. Mm-hmm. Next time we'll get a map. Ooh, that would be helpful. <laughs> yeah. You could actually point to something then <laughs> instead of just... Put a map behind us and just put like a pin on it or something. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It would be the least watched vlog that we've ever had. Uh, maps. Troy tries to read a map. <laughs> maps with Troy and Landon. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Today, Not again. <laughs> hey guys, did you know Highway 12 goes through this city too? How fascinating. That's, that's <laughs> awful. <laughs> got a hit YouTube idea on there. You came for beer and you got an education in maps. <laughs> no one cares. <laughs> Yes, not even Alex cares. Nope. That being said, hit up Madison. There's a lot of fun beers. The Ale Asylum's a great brewery. And I think the uh, yeah. what we learned from these two guys here is that there's plenty of things to try down there. So mm-hmm. This but, is just a small cross-section. Yeah, you also is, have like your Great Danes that are pretty well-known and established down there. You got Rock Hound. You got yep. Next Door. One Barrel. One Barrel. Yeah, all kinds of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, and... Uh, carbon 4. Carb- oh, Carbon 4 is awesome. Yeah. yeah. A little in-house stuff. Don't forget that we put all of the audio out on podcast. It's available for podcasts. So yep. if you don't like looking at our faces, which I couldn't blame you, <laughs> if you don't, go check us out on a and uh, find our podcast wherever you get your podcast from. Google and Play then, Store, uh, Spotify, yeah. all those good places. Yeah, all the good ones. Yep. And uh, we've got a lot of stuff in the works. I know that I keep teasing that every week, but we're still not quite ready to announce uh, it. So we, just, we keep having pr- uh, productive meetings, though. So a lot of productive meetings. Yeah, mm-hmm. good yes. productive meetings. So, <laughs> and then of course, uh, I think we're going to have hot passport back for Ooh, 2020. Whoa. So don't drink if, without your passport. Yeah, don't drink without your passport. So if you'd like that from 2019, wait until 2020 because a lot of new good things are happening with that. Mm-hmm. And then of course you if you haven't checked us out on social media, you should always do that. You know, the like, uh, subscribe, hit yeah. that stupid little bell. And the Instagrams and the Facebooks wow. and every now He's and again angry about bells. I yeah. don't like that bell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The but bell is stupid but necessary. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And thank you all for subscribing. We really appreciate it. So anyway, until next week, we'll see you then. Prost. Cheers, guys. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, you can click down below where there's some more episodes for you to watch. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on episodes that you do watch. We hope to see you next time.